Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change the font that is used with the Windows File Explorer app. So if you want to mix things up a little bit and don't want to use the default font, we're going to show you how to do it. Alright, so the process to do so involves using the free Windhawk app. So we've done a lot of videos on Windhawk. So I have this running here. So Windhawk is a tool that you install and then how it works is you add mods to it which change the way Windows looks or functions. And then you could just add or remove them as needed disable them if you don't want to use them, that type of thing. Alright, so once you install Windhawk, you'll have your home section here which will show your installed mods, some featured mods, and then you could go to explore and search for some other mods. You could sort them here, popular, top rated, newest, and so on. Do searches in the search box, and then once you find what you like, you just install it. Alright, so the one we're going to be using is called Explorer Font Changer. So what you would do is do a search for this, in the search box here, then once you find it, click on details and then install, and then it'll be in your home section. And then you could disable it from here, remove it from here, go into the details, remove it, disable it, enable it from here, and so on. All right, so this has just one setting. So if you go to the settings tab here, so that's the name of the font. So to turn this off, you either set this to none or you just come here and disable it by toggling the button here. And then, like I said, too, you could do the same thing from here. All right, so right now it's enabled. So we're going back to the settings here. All right, so you don't get a drop down for your fonts. You actually have to type in the name. So if you click in the search box here, type in fonts, you could open the fonts setting here and look at all your fonts. So let's say we wanted to use Algerian, for example. Let's type it in here. Click on save. Alright, so now you can see we have Algerian for our font here. Obviously not the best one to use, but I just wanted to show you more of a drastic example here. Alright, let's try something not so drastic here. Alright, maybe Berlin Sands FB. So you can see it took a second, then it changed it here, and then when you do a new tab, it'll change it as well. Sometimes I've noticed if you have an existing tab or window open and you change the font, it doesn't change till you close it or refresh it or add a new tab, so just keep that in mind. So you can see it works pretty well there. And then if we just click on Disable, you can see in this case it didn't actually disable it until I press F5 to refresh there. Alright, so once again, just install the free Windhawk app, do a search for Explorer Font Changer in the search box here, install it, enable it, type in the name of your font, and that's all you got to do. And as a side note for Windhawk, it'll be running here in your system tray, so if your mods stop working, then you could come here and see if this got closed for some reason. And if so, just open up the Windhawk app and it should start running down in your system tray again. And then it should also be set to run with Windows when you start your computer. All right, so like I said, I'll put a link in the description for Windhawk, and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.